Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. This video is continuation to the previous video where I'm, I am I already told the main focus is on MBA question paper in that main the main my interest is on quantitative aptitude and reasoning. In last video I had solved seven questions related to quantitative aptitude. In this video you are going to see the remaining questions and have a look at to have a look at questions. These questions are based on graphs. Distribution of candidates studying arts and commerce from seven different institutes are given. In first pie chart, the total number of students studying arts is 3,800. And how much percentage of students studying in each institute is given through pie chart. Similarly, number of total number of students studying commerce is 4,200 and the percentage distribution is given in pie chart across the different institutions one more thing we have to observe is in question paper they have given it as a 12 percent when you add all the percentage of different institutes you will get one out one percent it's not possible it should always equal to 100 percent that is the reason i consider it here as 11 percent let's solve the questions what is the ratio between number of students studying arts from institute e and number of students studying commerce from institute d from pie chart you can see from institute e it is four percent from institute e it is four percent from institute d it is four percent i have taken the data for reference 14 percent of 3800 is 532 and 14 percent of 4200 is 588 if you find common denominator which is 28 then you will get 19 issue 21 as the answer what is the total number of students studying arts from institute a and g together a and g together which is 15 and 12 percent which is equal to 27 percent 27 percent of 3800 is 1026 there is no option so none of the above the total number of students studying commerce from institute B and D together it is 17 and 14 percent which is 31 percent 31 percent of 4200 is 1302 the total number of students studying arts and commerce from institute B from arts and from institute B is 8 percent 8 percent of 3800 is 304 and 17 percent of 4 1200 is 714 which is equal to 2018 what is the ratio between number of students studying arts and commerce respectively from institute e from institute e 14 percent of arts students which is equal to 532 and 18 percent is 756 you have to look for common divider which is 28 you will get answer as 19 issue 27 in a equation, divisor is 2 by 3rd of the dividend and twice the remainder. Given remainder is 5, they are asking to find the dividend. So divisor, they have, given, they have given remainder as 5. In question, they have mentioned divisor is 2 by 3rd of the dividend. X is a divisor which is 2 by 3 of dividend consider as Y. Given that X is twice of the remainder, twice of the remainder, remainder is 5. 2 5 10 so you substitute x is equal to 12 10 then y is equal to you will get as a 15 so there is no option that is none of the above what is the number of digits what is the number of digits of the smallest number which when multiplied by 7 gives a results consisting of entirely of nice when a number is multiplied by any number the remainder is always zero so we are taking that into consideration x is a number we don't know unknown number when you multiply it by 7 you will get all as a nines entirely nines so they are asking that how many digit number is that so we don't know how many numbers it is so what we are going to do is to find x we are going to divide nines how many nines you are going to consider first look into options there are three four five six four nines means four option the minimum nines they have considered is three just take three nines divided it by seven seven one just seven one j carry forward is two twenty nine seven four j twenty eight 
वन इज कैरी फॉरवर्ड सेवन वन सेवन टू जो फोर्टीन फाइव इज द कैरी फॉरवर्ड बिकॉज रिमाइंडर शुड बी जीरो देर इज नो रिमाइंडर जीरो एड वन मोर नाइन फाइव इज द कैरी फॉरवर्ड फिफ्टी नाइन सेवन एट जो फिफ्टी सिक्स सेवन एट जो थ्री इज कैरी फॉरवर्ड सो रिमाइंडर इज नॉट जीरो एड वन मोर नाइन थ्री इज कैरी फॉरवर्ड थर्टी नाइन सेवन फाइव जो थर्टी फाइव फोर इज द रिमाइंडर रिमाइंडर शुड बी जीरो एड वन मोर नाइन फोर्टी नाइन सेवन सेवन जो फोर्टी नाइन सो नाउ यू गॉट द रिमाइंडर एज जीरो टोटल डिजिट्स इज सिक्स सिक्स डिजिट्स If by beginning with one, consecutive numbers are continuously written to its left, then which digit will be written on thirty-first position? Just write one, two, three. Go on writing. This first position, second position, third position, like that. From one to nine, it is nine positions. From ten, this is the tenth position. This is the eleventh position. Eleven. This is twelfth position. Thirteenth position. Fourteenth position, fifteenth position, like that you do, you will get zero as a thirty-first position. If a into point five is equal to point zero zero three, then the value of a will be. It is simple mathematics. A is equal to you can write as three into ten power minus four divided by yeah. You have other method you can do it. It is ten power minus one. If you solve this, you will get point zero zero six. The simplest form of x by y plus y by x inverse. The power inverse symbol is they have given x by y plus y by x. You have to form. They are asking the simplest form. I have not mentioned here options. What we have to do is just take the LCM of x and y. We have already y, so we have to multiply x x square. Here we already have x. We have to multiply y square. This is simple maths. One. If you take this, you will get x y divided by x square plus y square. This is the answer. X y divided by x square plus y square is the answer. In answer key, it is the second option. If you look at the options, you will find the second option as the right answer. If you like this video, please. share and subscribe don't forget to press bell icon and in next video i am going to come up with the remaining eight questions later on we will see the reasoning questions thank you thank you for watching video